Cherry woke up from her nap. I will show you around her bedroom right now. Um, it's kind of like Montessori vibe meets just your regular old bedroom, <laughs> but there's like some Montessori bits in it. So I will show you that. If you haven't already seen like how we Montessori at home, so pretty much all the other rooms outside of her bedroom, I'll leave a link to that video below. Um, but yeah, let me just show you what's going on in here. There's little Bean in her bed. <laughs> So you walk in her play stuff that I gave the tour of is like right here. Um, and then inside here, not too much has changed. Still the dresser, her two bins, one's trash, one's for cloth diapers. A lot of this stuff is all the same. These things are out of her reach. These are her baby carriers. Um, then she has her own little um, laundry hamper here on the floor that she puts her dirty clothes in and her slippers. So she doesn't wear that much yet, but it's getting cold. And her aunt brought those back from Greece, and I think that they are so cute. Are you reading a book? <laughs> so this is her Montessori type of full, uh, house bed that I built. I want to build something in the back here as like a rail. Um, right now I have like this lumbar pillow. She doesn't move around that much in her bed, and she stays pretty much right there. But there's like a decent gap here um, because of our baseboard, how it is. It like kind of brings the bed out from the wall. Plus, of course, when I built this, it's like exactly lined up with the outlet, which is kind of a pain. And so it like kind of has to stay away from the wall. So anyways, I need to like actually build something there um, for her, which I think would be a lot better. And then this is just kind of what her bedroom's like right now. This is her cute little floor bed. You gonna go night night? You just woke up. My mom got here at these and they're kind of fun and colorful. We hang them up in random places and right now they're just on her bed. I think Joel did this. <laughs> oh, hello. And then down here at her level is like a little book thing so she can see a front facing kind of book stand. This is actually a plant stand from Target, but it works really well as a um, easy to access little book stand for her. And then um, with like a Montessori floor bed, I would recommend actually a much shorter mattress than what we have. Um, I didn't really think about that when I bought the mattress for this, but something that's like half the size because when she was younger, it was kind of crazy her getting in and out of this. So she didn't really sleep in there and she still doesn't sleep in this all night. <laughs> she starts in there and she naps in there, don't you little one? Um, and then over here is her little wardrobe area. So down here we have her little wardrobe area. I got like a cool cover thing for this plug-in, but um, like it's like a baby proof thing, but this one's too big and she really likes this thing. So I gotta figure out something with these cords. So if you have any suggestions, I'd love them. Um, and then this is her little wardrobe. I found this piece on Facebook Marketplace. I'll put in a photo of what it looked like before, but then I painted it and I put this little rod in here for her clothes and then you can kind of close the door and then in here we have like pants these are long sleeves um, some t-shirts and this is her sock drawer and then we have a little space heater in here that we keep up out of her reach because she um her room's kind of like not super warm this is a really pretty art piece that she picked out when we went to Big Sur that I framed. Cute little crown from her birthday. This is her hatch, um, uh, what do you call it? Sound machine thing. These are her brushes. They usually kind of just live down here. I have thought about kind of hanging up something like this for her to have access to her brushes in a little bit easier of a way. I just haven't done it. <laughs> this is a mirror that I got from Target, like Opal House, kind of mirror and it's like a great size for her and her height as like a full body mirror um and then this is just like a cute little purse i was just gonna like hang two things up here or maybe get her a cute little hat she really loves hats and like putting on hats in the mirror and like looking at herself and making funny faces which is cute and then here are some of her stuffed animals um i really kind of cut down on her stuffed animal collection she doesn't really care too much for stuffies but she has a few that she enjoys she really likes to sit and read in books now in her bed like that. I think it's so cute. Um, up here, 
above. These ones are kind of out of her reach, which isn't really Montessori vibe, but they've been in here since her nursery setup. And I just like to put some of these up that are cute books that we don't maybe read as much. Um, the little stuffed animal toy thing. This is her little bedtime oil. Her cousin made her this. A cute little fluffy alpaca. This is a really cool um, art piece by an artist they sent to me. I will leave their links below because I can't remember it off the top of my head, but they have these really cool pieces. This is a scan piece, but all of her artwork is um, like uh, embroidery, and then she scans it, and I just think they look so cool. Um, yeah, and then this is just like randomly hung up here on her um, window thing because this was above her crib back in the day and I don't really know what to do with it right now. We went to a, oops, we went to a twins game and made her a little flag thing that I should hang up in her room somewhere. You still reading? What book are you reading? Oh, you like that book, don't you? Is that Bunny Roo, I love you? Love you. Love you. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, we have the little lollipop cam, um, what is it called, a baby monitor, that's pretty much it. I'll show you inside of our closet. Um, not a ton has changed in here either. We still store her pack and play up there. These are all of her extra books, just lots of books. These are some clothes that now we're kind of getting out of summer so I could probably pack some of these away or donate things that we don't want to keep necessarily and then some other seasonal stuff these are too big for her right now these ones over here and then that's just a mirror that I want to hang up somewhere not in her room necessarily this is usually like a catch-all for things and then more additional storage I've kind of been working on reorganizing her room um, this is just some random bits in here and we have blankets and then this is just again, some more off season things, extras, things for her baby carrier and stuff. And this is usually always closed. Um, not something she like gets into. So yeah, that's pretty much the gist of her. Oh, I'll mention this play mat. This is by Little Nomad and it's like a foam mat. It's really nice in here because we have hardwood floors. Um, and then I have this is I think like a kitchen mat or something But it has like one of those non skid sticky things on the back of it or maybe it's like a bath mat um, And I find that's really nice to have so she doesn't slip around on them And then a new addition to her room that I found I'm not much for like Non-functional decor, but I couldn't help this it is like a little piggy bank So when she's older she can put like little coins and save her money in there But how cute is this little sloth? I found that at home goods and then her artwork is still all pretty much the same. And then that used to be like above her crib back in the day. And I just still think it's so cute and pretty. So that's kind of the basics of a Montessori room, giving them access to everything, um, baby proofing everything at like their level. Like I said, she doesn't sleep in here all night yet. <laughs> so I don't know, I, I don't know, don't judge. Another element to kind of a Montessori space would be maybe like a more private, cozy little reading nook. But right now she's really into just like sitting in her bed like that. And we don't really have a ton of extra space in here. So it just is what it is. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much the gist of her room. I try to keep it pretty simple in here, pretty minimal and more like conducive to sleep or getting ready or just like practical life things and not so much play, but like reading, sleeping, getting dressed that kind of stuff. All right, that's it. All right, do you wanna read a book? Read, should we read a book? Hello. <laughs> What's your favorite book right now? Do you like Bunny Roo, I Love You? I do. This is the book. That is a good book. Mom likes that book too. Okay. All right, okay, 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 all right, bye.